Goedemorgen iedereen en welkom bij een nieuwe vlog. If y'all didn't know, that's Dutch. See, as I'm doing this, I'm gonna teach y'all a little Dutch as I go, but it's gonna be mainly English, you know. If you have me on the, on my socials, you will know that I've been in France for about two weeks now, because my sister-in-law gave birth, so I've been here to help and everything. I filmed the vlog as well. If you haven't checked that, go check the last vlog out. Right now, I'm about to go home. It's 6.45 right now, but before I go home, I have a little pit stop in Paris. Because as you know, Paris is known for their croissants. And I was like, you know what? I need to find the best croissant in Paris. So on my way to the Netherlands today, I'm going to stop in Paris and gonna find the best croissant. I only have like six hours there maybe, or less. So make sure y'all follow me on all the socials right here. Make sure you subscribe. Show love to the boy because I'm going to be doing this every week and I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. We're going to take over and uh, let's go, man. I kind of deeped it a couple days ago. Kind of like what I'm doing now, you know, like I played Division One basketball for four years. If I really wanted to, I could go somewhere and play pro or I have a degree, college degree. I could get a job and just do the nine to five and live that life. but. Those two things, they don't like interest me. It's not like what I want to do in life, you know? Like, I feel like you definitely have to risk something to get a reward. And that's kind of what I'm doing now. I'm making vlogs and I, I am personally enjoying this. I know the views are not there or whatnot that people look at and when I tell them, oh, I only have like 140 subscribers, they just look at me kind of in a funny way. Like, ah, this guy, he's like a nobody, you know? But hey, that's part of it because I know like all the big YouTubers, they were there one day too. And they probably had the same thing, but the only way that they succeeded is not giving up. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna give up. There's no way because I've, I'm risking like my life basically to do this and it's not gonna stop because I enjoy this, I wanna do this, I wanna keep doing this, I wanna keep making videos for you watching because I know there's someone that needs the motivation to risk something, to do something, whether it's making videos, whether it's going to school, getting a job, playing sports, or whatever it is, you know, I'm doing this for that person and also for myself. I'm doing this because I enjoy it and I wanna make a career out of it. But I'm saying this to say because I know there's some people that watched my first couple of vlogs probably thought it was trash or whatnot or like what's this guy doing he should be playing basketball or this or that I don't care I don't care I really don't because this is what I want to do what I enjoy and I'm gonna keep doing it so and you're gonna see me at the top one day man you're gonna see me at the top one day mark my words man I'm not gonna stop the only way if you don't see me at the top is if I die but I think God has a bigger plan for me, so we're gonna keep going. I'm saying this because I know there's people watching and people like, ah, it ain't gonna work or laughing at me. It's okay, man. It's part of it. And that's what will fuel me, you know, fuel me even more to be great. Now I'm not in my, I'm not in my feelings, but now that I'm out of that zone, let's go have a good day. Let's find the best croissant, man, because I need it. I need to try it. Hey, if y'all didn't know, I'm a world-class food review and I've traveled in the three weeks I've been to four countries I think four countries I'm pretty sure so we're gonna keep traveling I got a little job now I'm starting on Monday money I'm making is gonna go into these videos it's gonna go into equipment if I need it and to travel everything I'm gonna try and make the best type of videos but it's also gonna be raw it's not gonna be big edits and big production and all that stuff nah that's not really the YouTube that I fell in love with, that I watch, you know, like, I kind of make videos that I would watch, if that makes sense, you know? It's kind of raw, not big production, just kind of like, literally, I'm one of you. Literally, like I am. Like, I really am. So I'll make the video tailored to like how I live and how we live as a whole, you know? The train systems here are kind of weird because they have like assigned seats. I'm not used to that because like domestically like in the Netherlands it's just free for all you just sit where you want but here it's like assigned seat so hopefully I don't sit like in between hella people because there's bare people and I'm seat B I think so I don't <laughs> I think that's an aisle I think I hope if not it's gonna be a struggle but it's not too long till we get to Paris I just I'm here for the layover in Anje could be in Paris and like an hour maybe maybe two and i haven't been home in about a month and my hair if you can see 
looks absolutely horrendous. First thing when I get back to the Netherlands, local, you gotta get me right, cause I look crazy. But hey, it's part of it, I'm not gonna hide. I look crazy, you know? When I look fresh, and make sure you show that love, man, cause this is crazy. A month no cut, but it's part of it, man. You gotta let the hair grow, you feel me? All right, I just got to Paris. And I'm in one of the stations. Paris is so big, so they have like five stations, like big ones. So I don't really know where I am right now. But before we find the best croissant here, I need to find like a little supermarket where I can find a toothbrush and some toothpaste because I was rushing this morning and I forgot to brush my teeth and I didn't bring my toothbrush with me. I made a funny TikTok about it, so go check that right now. I'll wait till you follow me on TikTok. Go ahead and go look for it. Waiting, hurry up. Okay, it's done. Now I need to go find where I can find some toothpaste and a toothbrush. Step one. Step two is, I have my luggage with me because I'm going back home tonight. I need to find a place where I can keep this. Like maybe a little store or restaurant where they will let me keep this because I don't want to be moving around with this the whole time. And maybe my jacket too, it's not too cold today so I don't really need it, but this is iconic. It's been in every vlog, so I feel so dirty that I haven't done it, but it's part of it. I ain't going front, I ain't gonna lie, but okay. Two brushes and some toothpaste. So I'm gonna get both of those and then some water as well so I can rinse my mouth and everything. Let's switch it to where I'm brushing my teeth outside. All right, I got the water, I got the toothbrush and the toothpaste. Total was like maybe eight euro, so it's not too bad. Could have avoided that if I brushed my teeth before, but hey. Don't judge, you're just gonna do it, you know? I don't just use any type of water. I'm a high volume man. High volume water. This probably gonna taste disgusting, but hey, we gotta do what we gotta do. I don't know if I'm weird, but I always put water on top of like my toothpaste on my toothbrush. I don't know why. It hits different. Sparkling water though. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's not bad, it's not bad. I'm spitting it like in a hole right here so it doesn't get on like the streets of Paris. But I also pour water on it. <laughs> People are like walking by and looking at me like, what the hell is this person doing? But, hey, gotta do what I gotta do, man. And there's a lot more weird things that I'm gonna do on this channel, so be ready. Bonjour. <laughs> Oh, this is insane. I know one of y'all, I know one of y'all is watching this and haven't brushed their teeth. Y'all are dirty. Make sure you brush your teeth. Don't be like me. No, you can come in the video. It's okay. I never thought I'd do something like this, like in public, but eh, it's fun. I enjoy it. It's like a, it's like a different type of rush. I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to ask some people, like some locals in this area, what the best spot is to get a croissant. Excuse me. Parlez-vous anglais? No. No? Okay. For anyone watching, that means do you speak English? And most people in France, to my surprise, don't speak English. I don't know why. Parlez-vous anglais? Anglais, no. Parlez-vous anglais? No. Vous cherchez quelque chose? Huh? Vous cherchez quelque chose? Uh, I don't know what that means. English. Un peu. Un peu. Some. Un peu. Some? Okay. I'm um, trying to find the best croissant in Paris. Croissant à manger? Yes. Where's the best uh, place here? Here? In this area, yes. Okay. okay, he just told me to come over there and ask him. So, let's see. Oh, should I leave my stuff there though? Let me pack up my stuff real quick and then go ask. Them. Hello, hello. Ça va? Ça va, jeter? Ça va très bien. Ah, bon, merci. Si ça va, c'est Ça, c'est pour jeter, je prends. YouTube. YouTube? Yes. YouTube. I'm looking for the best croissant in Paris. He say, uh, if you can feel me. You pay it uh, uh, 300, 300, 300, 300 dollars per year. Ah, if I film you, 300. but I'm not filming you. <laughs> uh, you take here, uh -huh. and you take in your left, and you see a boulangerie in your right. Boulangerie, yes. okay. I don't know what they're saying, but I think they're trying to figure out the name. Uh, I'll find it, I'll find it. No worries. Thank you. No Appreciate it. Yes. yes. All right, God bless you. It's hard to communicate with people when they don't speak English, you know? I'm gonna find it, 
and hopefully it's good i'm gonna try to hit five places but i don't know if i'll be able to because i only have five hours here and paris is big like i'll have to take the train to like different cities and stuff cities in like paris because paris is big man i think that guy that that worker i think he absolutely sent me because where he said he told me where to go and i went no boulangerie boulangerie is like a it means bakery i'm pretty sure so he could have sent me to nowhere or i'm just not looking right i have a tendency to do that sometimes but i think he sent me all right so i just walked into like this one store i don't know they weren't even open for real. but i just asked her i was like do you know where the closest boulangerie is and she was like yeah go up here and take a left so that guy sent me the complete wrong way unless there's multiple boulangeries which is a possibility too but Best croissant. yeah i'm looking for different places oh you are, you are, you have to do a lot of places in paris i know because that's why there's a lot of croissant in paris i know and i only have five hours oh yeah you, you will be very busy <laughs> yeah exactly i was in cholet cholet yeah I, my you play basket mon frère your brother play yes. basket yes 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 i know cholet yes exactly so yeah i'm going back home i'm from Peba. Yeah. this place yeah just in this street, you have a bakery over there. Okay, cool. Good All one. Right. Okay, I'll try it. Hopefully it's good. The first boulangerie, first croissant review. And he said it's really good, so. But yeah, he was right. I have a lot of places I still need to go to. Because this is like the land of croissant. <laughs> uh, one croissant. Yes. I'm doing a food review, like. Finding the best croissant in Paris. This is the first one, so <laughs> should be good. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I have high hopes because it's France. Everything should be good here. Every croissant, at least. First croissant from whatever that place is called. I don't know the name of it, but first we're gonna do how it looks. Off it looks, it looks good, but it looks a little dry. It should be good. I have high hopes for a pair. Let's see how this tastes, man. Just off taste alone, I'll give this a four. It's pretty dry. I've had better croissant in Cholet. Taste alone, four. Looks, yeah, maybe five. Hmm. Not the best. First place, I'll give it five out of 10. I know that's low, but this is Paris. I have high hopes for this. They're the land of croissant, so if it's not good, I have to give an honest review. You feel me? And that was euro tarte. Not worth it. But we're going to the next place. Châtelet les Halles. There, and then with that. If you want to. 20 take... minutes. Okay, that's yeah. not bad. The sun is out. I made it to the place that guy um, told me to. I don't know the name of it. I don't know how to say it. I'm about to go ask some people what the best croissant is in this area. All right, I just found the second spot here. Hopefully it's good, I'm gonna try it. This place looks very clean. Well, we only here for that right there. I'm gonna get it, rate it one to 10. Hopefully it's good, because the other one I had was not good. So it was not a good start. The second place I'm trying is Food de Patissier. I think that's how you say it. Off looks, it looks very good. A little bit dry too, I can't lie, but it looks better than the first one. I think it's also because it's not that early in the morning because they make it like fresh, fresh every morning. Still looks good, so I'm gonna try it. Mm. Okay, okay. This is more like a, a buttery thing. You know, much better than the first one. It's not dry. You don't instantly need like something to drink. Really good. <laughs> and as you see people just walking in the camera, I really don't care because I just put it in random places where people can just walk through and I don't care. I'm just going to do the repeat. Food de pâtissier. Pâtissier, I think I'm pronouncing that wrong anyways. I'd say seven and a half out of 10. Really good, buttery, but it's not warm. That's the only thing. I feel like when you get a croissant, especially here, it has to be warm, but it's also not like early in the morning. So, seven, seven, seven and a half. Excuse me, 
Excusez-moi. Oh. <laughs> One thing I did notice that's different than the Netherlands, and I think, yeah, maybe Europe in general, but there's a lot of homeless people in Paris. I was shocked because I feel like in Europe, they take care of your people, you know? In the Netherlands, you barely see any home people, uh, homeless people. And if you are homeless, it's kind of your fault. This place is actually nicer than like downtown Paris because I'm on like the outskirts of Paris, I think, or maybe in the center. I think the outskirts is not the nice place. I'm not sure. Let's go to the next spot. It still shocks me every time I just ask someone if they speak English and they're just like, no, no, no. I asked like five people just now, none of them just speak English. But I just talked to the sixth person and he gave me a good place. He said it's the best in this area. Hopefully it's good, because what I've found so far is kind of mid, 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 mid. So there's a line, so that's always a good time of the croissant being good. Excuse me. Parlez-vous anglais? Is this croissant place good? The croissant? Yes? Okay. That's the second person that said it's good. And there's a line, so it should be good. All right. The second place I was recommended to is called Boa and Me. Very nice, looked really nice inside, but it was boiling in there and there was a lot of people, big line. That's a good sign, but I had to get out of there quick because I have this big roadman jacket on. And I asked the guy in front of me what I should get and he recommended something, so. Of course, I got the original croissant, the original. And then I also got Pan is chocolat. This just with chocolate. In it. Let me see. The girl that just walked by was about to cry. But <laughs> we're on the brighter side of the day. But I'm about to try it. It off looks. It already looks better than the first two I had. It's not warm once again, but it's also not early in the morning. So I think that's why. But we'll try it. But places like this, the prices are high and the food is trash. That's how most places like this are. But the price was normal. It was like the price at the other places. So let's see. Mm. Let me process it real quick. Okay, let me do one more bite to get a good taste of it, you know, a good sense of it. See, from, I may, maybe my hopes are high, but this is not gonna make me wanna slap my mom for it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not gonna make me do some outlandish thing. But, it's not bad, but it's not great. The last one of looks didn't look as good as this one, but it tastes better. I don't know, it was more buttery. This one, it just tastes like the croissant that you get at like Aldi. You just get it, put it in your bag, go, 30 cents. You know, it's nothing spectacular. <sighs> Bo and me, basic croissant, say six, ah, that's low. Six and a half, six and a half, we'll do, six and a half. Yeah, six and a half. And by the way, I'm eating like not even half of all these croissants, but I'm going to give it to like a homeless person I see. I don't know if that's weird, but I don't want to just throw it away, you know? I don't want to waste it, so I might as well give it to someone. If y'all think it's disgusting, well, they don't have anything to eat. I, I think at least I give them something, you know, like, you know, pan es chocolat of looks. It looks like it's just filled with air, but let's see. Looks good. Mm. Mm. Okay, look, here's my thing with pondage chocolate. It's really hard to mess this up. If you mess this up, I mean, you just need to stop baking, stop doing all that. But this still don't make you want to slap your mom. It makes you want to slap your sister or something, but not your mom. It's nothing spectacular, but it's good. But that's not why we're in Paris for. We're in Paris for the original croissant and to find the best one. But this, I'll give this a eight, and a, eight out of 10, eight out of 10. Really good. Go to the Eiffel Tower area. Yeah, I think that's what's, what we're gonna do. Cause that area full with tourists, you know, a lot of places to eat. And they probably speak better English there too. 
So I think I think that's what we're gonna do. But so far, Paris, it's not bad. I've been here multiple times, so it's nothing special for me. That's why going to see the Eiffel Tower and all that stuff, I could care less. Because I've seen it like four times. We're gonna find the best one and I'll let y'all know. So the next time y'all are in Paris, you can go to that place and say, hey, David sent me. This is like the first time I really took took public transport to different places. But I realized three things. One, the trains are so full, you can really just hop on this without paying. Because there's no way a conductor will check. Like this place is packed, completely packed. And you can just hop over the fence where you come in. For two, some people don't believe in deodorant here. <laughs> I'm convinced. I thought it was just one place, but that smell, it smells a lot in different trains, different places, so people don't believe in that. And then another thing, very fast with the trains. It comes every four minutes, I believe. Every four minutes, one comes, so it's very efficient. I like that. The Eiffel Tower is right behind me, and I'm about to go there, see it a little bit. I've done it so many times, so it's nothing special anymore, but I need to get rid of this Roadman Jack because it's getting really hot, and my suitcase. So I'm gonna try and go to like a little store and ask them if I can keep my stuff there. But we'll see. They probably will say no, but I'll at least try. So as you see right behind me, we have the Eiffel Tower and I don't have my coat. I don't have my bag. I don't have none of that because I dropped it off at a random smoke shop. I talked to the guy. I was like, yo, I'm filming a video. I need to get rid of this. Can I keep it here? He's like, yeah, yeah no problem. Like a little too fast, you know? And I was like, okay, you know what? I need to do this. Other place will probably say no. So I just did it, left it there. I was like, can I pay you or something? He's like, no, no, no. I was like, you know what? Let me just get a water at least. So, you know, sparkling water is the way to go. But we're here. I'm about to go ask some people what the best croissant in Paris is. And uh, let's see. I need to do some more taste testing. But so far, the croissants I've tasted years mid. Like I was expecting like a 10 out of 10 every time, but Maybe croissant is just mid in general, but we'll see. I just got croissant from the fourth place. Scenes absolutely unreal right now. I need to go find a little scenic place where I can eat this. Y'all can see that. So let me look for that real quick. All right, I got the fourth place. I think it's called Boulangerie du Champ de Mars or something. But there's a line, which means it's good or it's just because we're right by the Eiffel Tower and it's packed, you know what I'm saying? But about to try it, off looks, a little dry. I was, yeah, I was expecting this to be honest, because it's, let's see what time it is right now. It's almost 2.30 right now. And of course, these are not gonna be fresh for taste test. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's dry again. It's not the worst one. Definitely not the best one. Let me get one more bite to see the score, really. Seems it's beautiful, though. It's really nice. It's right by the Alpha Tower. But, mm. I, don't, I don't know. I think it's just croissant in general. That's it's gotta be it because this is like the place for it, you know. It's just not hitting like that. I don't know what it is, but Boulangerie de Champs de Mars, I think that's how you say it. Six, six out of ten. I have a feeling that's how it's gonna be for all the other ones I go to, unless I get something spectacular. I think six, yeah, six, six to eight maybe. That's how all of them will be, but yeah, not bad. All right, I just talked to my last person out here and they said there's nothing much that I haven't seen or tried out here in this area, but they did tell me to go to this one place. It's called La Maison Isabel or something. That's where you can get like the giant croissant. <laughs> and that's going to be a big waste of money, but I'm going to try to get it. He said sometimes you have to have like a day reservation, but I don't have time for that. I need to leave Paris in literally one hour, but I'm gonna try and to just go there and see if I can get it, but it might not work. 
but right now I need to go back to that uh, shop where I left my bags hopefully that guy hasn't closed the shop up and stole all my items I'm excited for that and all the croissants by the way I'm giving away to like someone that's homeless so it's not going to complete waste but still it's a waste out of my pocket that's what it is but it's going to a good car don't ask me why but this is where I decided to keep my bag hopefully it's still there yes yes, yes. I'm finished we are yeah that was a lot a lot well, in French say something in French en français yeah français en français uh, quoi dire um, une super rencontre avec un personnage atypique naturel et honnête I don't know what he said, but it sounded good. It sounded good, but really appreciate this guy for letting me keep my stuff here while I was just filming all that, but really nice. If y'all ever in France, in Paris area, come check him out, man. Come check him out, 100%. I just got all my stuff from the guy. Very good guy, honestly. After that little clip y'all saw of him talking, I was in there for like 20 more minutes. We were just talking about everything, just life and all that stuff. Very good guy, very chill guy. So if you're in Paris next, I don't smoke, and he doesn't either. He said it's just good for business, but if you ever need stuff from there, I get, actually, never mind. I'm not promoting smoking, never mind. But just go say hi to him for me, yeah. Just go say hi to him, be friendly. But I was gonna go to this place where they have the giant croissant. I was warned that it was one day notice. I have good and bad news. The good news is it's 2.30 right now, and I'm going back to Nadelong today like right now and I have to be there like 30 minutes before and it's 2.30 so I'm gonna make it there at least that's a good thing normally I'm always late so I'm gonna make it but the bad news is I can't go to that place to try the giant croissant because I called and they said it's a one day re uh, reservation so I'm not just gonna stay in France for one day to get that croissant next time I'm back I'll try it and hopefully I'll like it but so far with all these for some reviews, I can't lie, mid. I was expecting a lot more. Maybe if I came in the morning, it's fresh and hot. But still, I don't know. I think croissant is just not really my thing. I thought it would be <laughs> like, I thought I would like it a lot more than I did. But yeah. now I just have like six half croissants in my bag. So if I find like a homeless person, I'll probably just give it to him. But if not, yeah, I'll just take it with me to Nederland, I guess. And I'll have to eat it, but yeah, I don't. I didn't really enjoy it. Part of it, you know, it was a fun experience talking to people. I didn't record every person I was talking to because some people just didn't like being on camera. So I respect it. I understand. But yeah, it was fun. Quick five, six lay, uh, hours lay over here, so that was fun. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing that. I like traveling, talking to people, seeing different cultures, seeing different things. But Paris was just like nothing new, you know. I wasn't shocked by the Eiffel Tower because I've been here so many times. But yeah, it was cool still. That was it. I mean, I traveled all across Paris, really, and tried to find the best croissant. And honestly, croissants are mid now. I don't know, maybe I tried too much of them today, or maybe it's just, it's just not that good. I'm about to catch a bus back to the Netherlands right now, because you know, the budget is not approved. Nah, I'm playing, I'm playing. But it's because my brother lives in um, Cholet and the closest airport is Nantes. And Nantes, that airport is so expensive. So I was like, I'll just take a train from Cholet to Paris. And from Paris, I'll go from here with a bus. So it's not too bad. It's fun, you know, it's part of it, part of the grind. One day, we won't have to worry about that, you know, but you know, we'll get there one day. But if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Follow me on all the socials every friday i know today was a, was a saturday but that's because some technical difficulties but normally every friday 2024 we're taking over and thank you i just appreciate you and uh jesus loves you god bless not even talking you are my eta i ain't left just yet i'm stalling still gonna go through shit that back